So, why festivals? What was it that appealed you? Um, I think festivals are like a, a really good kind of natural breeding ground for comedy. They're, they're, um, it's got that thing where you're sort of, um, you've gone somewhere that's supposed to be fun um, and it's actually quite alien and weird, but you kind of don't want to let on that you find it weird because you think maybe you're not fun enough. So, uh, I think that that is natural comedy to yeah. me. And, and it's got like a big place, lots of people, where the sort of rules kind of apply but don't apply. So yeah. it's all sort of, you know, and there's lots of different corners and stuff going on where you could get into trouble or things could be funny, basically, I think. Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly right. There, yeah. there, there's, there's, a, there's also a... I think there's an arc to a festival as well, where when you first get to, get to a festival, you're just being like, oh, look at the amount of stuff. And then you're just amazed by the mass of humanity. And then by the end... Often there's a, there's a sense that you've kind of you've given into it a bit and you, you've 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 kind of shed a layer of skin maybe uh, uh, and um, that or gained a layer of mud or gained a layer of mud maybe yeah gained yeah a layer of yeah mud. or yeah or or gained sort of tetanus or, or <laughs> but um, Joe did have a tetanus shot when we were filming I did have a tetanus he shot he spent so much time in mud and Amazing. actually you know now don't need to worry you got it out of the way so out of the way free, free medical care so but, then um, you can roll as much mud yeah. as you want yes. But I think there's an art, I think, yeah, I think there's a kind of, there's an, uh, you know, to get back to my arc, don't cut into my arc material, please. Um, there's Just on the arc, yeah, off up the yeah. arc, cut in. It, there's, a, there's a rite of passage element to them as well, basically, I think. Okay, yeah. and the first time I heard about this film, I was at Leeds last year. Oh, were you? When you came on stage. Oh my God, yeah. Okay. That was, I was so scared. That was the single scariest moment. I was just on the point of not doing it, because I was like, oh, it's just, they're going to hate me. <laughs> like... Because I know what that's like when like you're waiting to see a band you want to see, and yeah. then someone comes on and he's like, "Hi guys, enjoying the festival?" And you're like, "Who are you?" <laughs> I think people took it pretty well. Though. I think people seemed to see like it was quite I was, weird and fun. I, I was mean, pleased by how well it went, but what did it feel like to you there? The thing that stood out to me was a good fifty thousand people shot, shot in Boner. At the stage. Yeah, that was yeah. No, I took that as a win. Yeah, <laughs> I okay. was like, that was that exceeded my expectations. I mean, God knows where my expectations are in terms of like how I expect <laughs> to be treated. But like, I was like, oh, shot in Boner, that's brilliant. Like, <laughs> my, but yeah, no, that was um, that was a, a small price to pay for actually being, uh, uh, you know able to get those to get those shots yeah. but um i can't believe you're there that's amazing yeah. so cool okay now we're going to test your festival knowledge we're going to yeah. give you some festivals you've got to tell us whether they're true or false mm. names of festivals uh festivals what they are but they're not necessarily going to be music festivals okay so first up we've got the el calacho baby jumping festival in spain and this is a festival where men dressed in devil suits have babies newborn babies in a line and the men in the devil suits jump over the babies to get rid of uh, evil spirits is that true or is that false interestingly i was i thought it was false until the devil suits and now i'm going to say true really? i'm going to say true as well you're both right it yes. is indeed true high five the thank under- you the devil <laughs> The underwater festival in Florida, where a load of divers go down with specially adapted uh, instruments and play underwater. Okay. I'm going to say it might have happened, but I do not class that as a festival. That's not a problem. It wasn't proper stages by the sound of it. So I'm going to say it's true, but also I don't like it. Um, I'm going to say that's false. You're right, you're wrong. Oh, what? But I mean, this was... this no, was a, because you got it wrong. But this was a really swatty answer yeah, as well. Yeah, I know, well. that's I mean, right. I, 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 you know, I'm, well, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Los Angeles' is Toto Fest, where a load of musicians get up and for six hours straight they play nothing but Africa, but they can put their own twist on it. In, in, if, if you'd not said LA, I'd have been like, mm, but I'm going to say true. They, they play nothing but what? Uh, Africa. Toto's Africa. Oh, they play right, their own okay. style for six hours straight. Oh, I see, sorry. Okay, um... I, uh, I'm going to say true, um, but I think without social media that would have been impossible to organise. Sorry, I made that one up. Oh, <laughs> it's a really good one. But no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm up for that. So yeah, no, I'm going yeah. to launch that in LA now. That's a classic. That sounds pretty good. That's incredible. That's Amazing. a really good one. That's a really good one. Cool. And just back to your like festival experiences, what's the single worst thing that you've experienced at a festival? Um, the, almost the kind of the defining one was basically the first festival I went to. Uh, which was Reading, where we woke up on the morning and someone had pooed on our tent. Of course. Which was almost just like, just like classic. It was almost just like legend. Welcome to the welcome, <laughs> yeah, welcome to the okay. welcome to the festival. Um, I think I also. I mean, it, I think in oddly a more a more sort of representative one was when I was the very first one I ever went to when I was I was just a kid. Um, I was watching Blur, uh, and I was my. 
I was on my dad's shoulders because I was so small and I couldn't see Blur uh, and I couldn't see the stage and I I knew there were some screens that the bands were being shown on as well and also I couldn't see the screens. <laughs> I was like, what is the point of this? I literally don't know what this is other than to be in a field with more people than I've ever seen in my life and um, in a way I feel like that's still my first reaction when I go to a festival. I'm like, just this is kind of incredible just because of the numbers involved and the experiences are just so different just because of where you are. I mean, I still quite liked that, even though it was almost objectively entirely pointless. 